there haven't been many who have come to play here and invested in the city and become part of the city the way Tim Wakefield has. And I think that there are lots of people that would back me on that statement. I obviously worked on his book with him 12 years ago, whenever it was. So uh, he was invested in that project. We had lunches. We sat down at what was then Eastern Standard in Kenmore Square. He would uh, account for me things that happened in his career, his opinions on things. And we did that repeatedly. So I got to know him through that process. And again, I covered just about every game he ever pitched for the Red Sox. And what I can tell you is that he invested in the city. His charitable work was sincere. He did a lot of it, much without recognition. He described Boston to me once as a neighborhood, and he acted like it. He acted like it was his neighborhood. And there aren't many players who come into this town and wear the uniform and do the kinds of things that he has done. And so, to me, he's become a Bostonian. He married a native Bostonian. I think his wife originally is from Brockton. So I just tell you uh, what I will uh, offer to, to those of you out there as well as to him directly. This obviously sounds very serious on both levels. And your city's behind you. That's what I'll tell them. Your city's behind you. We're all pulling for you. And I mean your city.